Good afternoon and uh, welcome to West Coast Model Battleships. My name is Dave, your host, and today we're going to be doing a review of the Verifier 1350 DTL upset for the USS Alaska CB1 battle cruiser. So without further ado, let's jump on down there and take a look at everything that comes with this kit. It's pretty nice looking so far, and we'll try to get some close-ups, some stills, and throw my two cents worth in. So, without further ado, let's on, dive on down there and check it out. Okay, we are back. Let's go ahead and start with the veneer deck that comes with the ship. Have it sitting right here. Comes in three pieces. These are self adhering. And they have little punch outs that you got to take out. And it even comes with the decking for your lifeboats. So we'll try to get in here a little closer so you can see some of the detail on the deck. Very nice so far. Uh, the last one I got was for the North Carolina and it peeled really nice. Um, everything came off real good through there. So this is the forward section of the ship. This is your main turret there. Number two, number three goes in the back. This is for your O1 and your mid deck area. Nice grain, actually you can see the splits in there, uh, try to get in there if you can see them. Right here, you can see where the different planks are, different sizes. And this looks like the stern of the ship. That's where your last main turret goes, 12 inch turret, 40 millimeters. Nice lines in here as usual. So that's three sections of that. Let's try to get into this. The kit comes with some re resin replacement parts. That was easy for me to say. Um, to go along with accenting the, the kit parts. Um, comes with, these are resin. These are your life rafts. And there's four of those. There we go. If I believe right, you'll have to put a, a photo etch backing on these and then the netting in here. So there'll be a little piece that goes on the back and then your netting sets in the top. So those are that. Everything comes in nice bags to store them in. I would definitely recommend keeping the bubble wrap that comes with the kit just to make sure your resin parts are good and secured and safe there's a piece that comes with the plane complete resin kit that comes to replace the float plane on the ship which is actually clear if you remember from my review of that this one's a little nicer definitely got some nice crisp lines on it good little detail even the prop is feathered correctly right there Floats look good, wings look good, not a lot of flash on it at all, kind of nice. Okay, this is the first that I have seen this. These are 5 inch 38s, let me get that in there for you, um, that are on typically most, if not all of your World War II ships from destroyers, cruisers, battleships, battle cruisers, um, even the Sumner class came out with them and it's actually all one piece which is really nice. Uh, the Tamiya kit you have to put the sides on here and there's a seam line that you can never ever get rid of. The trumpeter kit for the USS North Carolina has the same thing plus You've got to turn the back, you got to put the backs on here, which just creates more seam lines, more work. These came 
in the detail upset they are resin and they are highly detailed I'll try to get in there a little closer so you can see the back of the turret and for the first time I have seen this is the guns already have their pre-drilled holes for the barrels and the tops are on too so that is a first that is kinda nice um, veteran models makes a resin one that is fairly nice too I'd have to compare the two maybe I can do a comparison down the road for you but they come in a set of six of these because she had three on each side and once again it's in a plastic bag you get a bag of so I can spread this out a little bit these are some small parts um, searchlights, cleats, um, I believe I even saw the air horn for the ship in here, some gun directors, um, pulleys and cables and motors for the cranes that come with it. Okay, let's move on here. Lots of ready storage ammo lockers. Get that up there for you. Comes in a bag of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these. They have the hatches on the top. These are for your ready ammo around your 20 and I believe some of the 40 millimeter guns that are on the ship. Nice, a little easy cleanup. Don't see a lot of flash or dimples, which is nice. Here we have more cleats and some of the 20 millimeter these are going to be hard to see but they're really small I didn't want to lose any of the parts some gun directors for the 20 millimeters that go into the behind the tubs directors and spotters here we have one two three frets of resin gun tubs They're kind of nice. They are definitely thin walled, which makes it look good instead of being overly thick and out of proportion. Got the detail on the side, the enforcing ribs are in there. A couple of little cleanup down here. They are done at the bottom, which is nice, so you don't have a cleanup on the side. Here we have. If you decide to do it, these are the bases or the bleed tubes for the 40 millimeter Bofors. Shapeways now has a complete 3D printed 40 millimeter Bofor kit that you can use instead of trying to build these little puppies and bend in all that photo etch. It's all pre-done. I think they were 18 bucks for a set of five when I looked. Maybe worth if you don't want to spend lots and lots of time building 40 millimeter gun tubs okay let me have these are your blast bags there's a set of nine and some miscellaneous parts and searchlights right here blast bags they all look the same but they got the wrinkles and they sit inside the turret pretty nice um, definitely paint them whatever color they're required black I believe is most of them or really really dark gray and do a little white or light gray dry brush on those to bring out the wrinkles to see them real well be good the search lights have a lot of good little detail you can actually see there and I tend to put um, some of that clear over the top to bring out the the highlights of it there's the backs these actually may be, they look like searchlights. They definitely got some handles on them. Do a little research on that one. But highly detailed, kind of nice. Get that out of the way for you. We have some miscellaneous parts here, some circles, and looks like some sort of parts that probably go to the crane. Kind of nice. Okay. 
get into some of the photo etch brass here. Let's see if I can zoom down for you. Here's your brass barrels. Comes with nine of those bad boys. Let me get that in there. There you go. Get some of that reflection off. Um, they're drilled out at the end. They got nice pins to attach to, which is nice. Seem pretty sturdy. None seem warped. They are turned to see and seed, which is kind of nice. We do come with, this is kind of nice. These are some of your uh, antennas and part of your antenna structure. It is actually brass. Let me get that in there. Sorry. Let's see if I can get these out for you. Believe me, I got plenty of bags around here. Okay, three small rods. All, that one's tapered, and that one is tapered to do a antenna. There we go. So that's an antenna, probably a main, and then some more of the antenna mass, which is nice so they don't get broke off. Oop, come back here. Get those. Here, let's do a little close up of that. If I can do it without dropping these bad boys. Yeah, they don't want to stay. Okay, it does come with a section of anchor chain. Pre-painted black. Looks like it's enough to probably do one or two ships. And I do have backup that I purchased. There we go. And then we have there's some cleats that came with it for tying off the ship. Let's see if we can get those up there for you. There we go. Sorry about that glare. Too much light, I guess. But they're little dangled ones. So those are some cleats. We have barrels like you can't believe. We have 20 millimeter barrels, 40 millimeter Bofors. We have more cleats, same ones, and we have your 5 inch 38s. I'll get these picked up. Hopefully, you can let's try to zoom in on those bad boys. Too many parts to take out of a bag. There we go. So, we have the let me get back in here. Let me zoom out. Okay. There we go. So we have the 5 inch 38s, the 40 millimeter, and the really, really tiny 20 millimeter that you got to glue on there. And also, I believe Shapeway now is making single 20 millimeter Orlikens. Um, they're 3D printed. They all look crisp. They got nice pins on the end of them. And I see small little holes for the barrels, which is kind of nice to make it realistic. Then we will get into the frets. So, this is fret 8. And they, they feel they're not too flimsy where some seem to be really, really flimsy. And I noticed that some of these, like um, Toms, I've had some Toms with um, that are really, really soft brass. And even though you try to cut, it just doesn't quite make you happy. All right, so this is Fred 8 has, we see portholes, vents, chalks, looks like more crane types, railing, miscellaneous, we have the tiny, tiny little hatch covers, more portholes, some derricks, ladders, vents, that's about that one, so that's fret A, and the way that they do this is there's a piece of paper in between each. I would definitely try to keep those in line. Okay, this is 
section B and here's where we start building 40 millimeter gun tubs. Here's the shields, the bases, we have some boxes, we have the roundabouts for looks like 20 millimeter and the 40 millimeters, more ammo boxes, more portholes, more ladders, gun sights, gun sights, and this one feels good too. It's not too flimsy. I'm hoping it's not as soft as Tom's turned out to be. This is D. And as you can see, cranes, supports, looks like cables and pulleys. Um, here's the part where I was talking about you have to put on to the rafts on the back side. And then there's your rafts there, your netting. Uh, we have float nets, we have railing across the top. Looks like more pulleys, life rings. So that ain't bad. We'll move on to E. This is E. So we have looks like crane, radars, funnel cap, funnel walks. We have some more top stuff for the superstructure, more supports. I believe these go on the funnel. We have small radars or directors for the guns. More ammo boxes. We have some more pulleys. Looks like part of the more of the supports for the range finders right here. Looks like about that's all superstructure stuff. Okay. That is fret E. over this is fret F and as you can see it is mostly ladders davits netting railing part of the superstructure right here it goes on top of the foremast some more structures that we probably replace kit parts the ladders with the push through um, steps as you can see right here you have to, I would do these on a piece of foam after you've done your bends so you can push it like a toothpick through those. Works real well. We've got some hatches, covers, more smaller ladders. These ones you twist out, make like a, a bar ladder, and you got some more railing on this one. This one is fret H and these are ready ammo storage all through here the half moon ones we have some more supports small railing I believe this goes on top of the turrets and some miscellaneous stuff here supports more support railing some small um, stuff that goes on top of the turrets so that's that like I say th this feels good it doesn't seem to be too flimsy um, once I get into the kit I will when I post my update I will um, talk about how easy or too soft it is to cut this um, it actually even comes with this first time I've seen this I just noticed it it has right here the raised letters to put on the back of the ship this is Alaska that's kinda cool small details always help oh and then we have one more this is all of your railing railing and some netting there we go so we have all your main rails for your deck your main deck um, some netting, more steps, it even comes with fold anchors, pulleys, 
and then of course it comes with cable reels that you got to run the small wire through to make the thing and then wrap um, monofilament painted black works real well uh, about 20 pound or less test works good on the bigger ones the smaller ones I go like 8 or 10 pound test and you can always spray paint it black and roll them or if they're fire hoses you can do red which is kind of cool uh, more of these twist out ladders this is more supports for radars it looks like some folding steps that you don't you still have to bend the, the two anchors look pretty cool but I don't know about the gap on the bottom that would be something we'd, I'd have to look at but that's pretty much all the frets you get all the way from A to G on this kit I think it ran about I'll get you the price and put it at the end I, I'm thinking of another kit right off the top of my head so let's jump back up top and give you my final thoughts on this thing and we'll let you go